off with L'Oreal Paris 30 SPF um, sunscreen as a moisturizer. So since it's summer, I just thought this would be a better way to use as a moisturizer so you're protecting your skin. So I'm just going to be applying that all over my face. Next, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer and just putting a little bit of that all over my face. And now, since it is summer, I'm not going to be putting on a lot of foundation, so I'm just going to be using my Revlon Whipped Foundation um, in the color 250 Medium Beige. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit with my finger and just dotting it around my face. You don't need too much because you don't want to cake it on. Then I'm going to just blend it in. Next I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and just putting some under my eyes. and wherever I have some redness. Next, I'm gonna be using my Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder in the color Light Medium. And I'm just gonna be taking that and putting a little bit all over my face. Next, I'm going to be using my Sally Girl Bronzing Powder. It just looks like this. And just taking a little bit and putting it in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm going to work my way up to my temples and then down my nose a little bit. I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Blush and taking the middle color and just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And then to finish off my face, I'm going to be using my Revlon highlight and just taking a little bit and putting it here and a little down my nose. And next, for eyes. First I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer and just putting that all over my lid and a little underneath my waterline. Next I'm going to be using my Ulta Eye Crayon and White Wedding and putting that in the inner corner. Next, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio in the color Bad to the Bronze. Looks like this. I'm just going to be applying it with my finger and putting it on the outer half. Mainly on the lid and then bringing it up a little bit on a diagonal there. I'm just going to do the same to this side. And it's okay if it's messy because we can fix it afterwards. Okay, next I'm going to be using my CoverGirl eyeshadow in Tapestry Taupe. Just looks like this. I'm going to just be taking an eyeshadow brush and just applying that over the um, color tattoo that we just put on. Mainly this color helps connect the dark color with the white on the inner corner and just makes the color tattoo part a little more shiny and brighter.
Back in with my color tag too. Just gonna be putting a little more in the corner. And bringing it out. I'm gonna be taking my angled brush and a matte brown and just putting a little bit on the corner. Now I'm gonna be taking another brush in the same brown color and just following the angle we just made and just deepening it up with more of a brown. Bring a little bit of it up into the crease. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending this harsh line out. Same on the other side, just blending it out. So, so far this is what we have. Next, I'm going to be taking a creamy white color and taking a small brush and putting that on the inner corner. And then bring it down here too in the inner corner. Next, I'm going to be taking the Sephora eyeshadow. Well, basically, it just looks like this. And it's a shiny brown color. This looks like that. It has sparkles in it. Just going to be taking this with a fluffy brush and bringing it into my crease to add a little more sparkle and just to make it a little more dramatic. Then, I'm going to be taking a white pencil and just going right in the inner corner and putting it on my waterline just to brighten up your eyes and make them look bigger but only putting it halfway same on the other side okay so eyeliner on the top is optional which i did and Next, I'm going to be taking black eyeliner and putting that on my waterline. Okay, next I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. Okay. For mascara, I'm going to start out with my Maybelline Falsies Volume Express flared one. It just looks like this. I love this. This is like my favorite. So I'm just going to be putting this on maybe one or two coats on both eyes. And to finish it, I'm going to be using my NYC Vol High Definition Volume Mascara. This is also one of my favorites. And putting one coat on top of my top lashes and also going to be putting this on my bottom lashes. To finish off the look, I'm going to be using my lipstick by Remmel in Pink Chick.
You could do any color for the lips. I personally like the pink, and I think it has enough shine that you don't have to put a gloss over it. So basically, this is the final look, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I think it's really pretty and just simple, and it's a better look for summer. It's like a light smoky eye instead of doing the black, which I think this looks better. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please comment and let me know what other videos you would like to see. Thanks, everybody. Bye.